we're gonna do this if we can if we can get through here yes we can we're gonna swim we're gonna swim with suffice my horse who will make it and by the way you want to give your horse some stamina before you go in the water make sure they're fully fed because while you're in the water I don't think the game lets you do it I don't know never you know I don't really like to test stuff out like that I've got the potent horse I got the special horse we're gonna do the special I see I see okay you don't want to do that all right Okay, suffice. All right, all right. We're not, we're not, we don't got too far to go. That was a special three horse. Besides, I can always just go to the right. You know, stay close to the bank. Now, as I said, we can't, I think you can, but you can't. See? You won't even do a regular one now. So, I was correct. So, make sure you do that before you enter the water. That special three didn't do last very long at all, but I did kind of go and uh, hurdle you over that, didn't you? To force you go over, didn't I suffice? Well, at least you're okay. So here we are at Thieves Landing. It's a cool place just to hang out. If you want to, you know, practice your fist fighting. Or um, just, you know, see what happens. You never know what's going to happen. We're on the outskirts. There's a man over here snoring. Hey. You stop that snoring. What did I say? What did I just say? All right, let's continue. Snoring. One time there was this man who was snoring. You don't mind if I take this horse here, do you? See, they don't care. They don't care. I like Thieves Landing. Well, this is a nice horse. We cannot tame horses in Red Dead Online like we can in the story mode. Very disappointing. How you doing? You making problems for me? What? What? I think we got enough distance here. Let's continue. It's getting dark now. Holy smoly. I just made that word up just now. Holy smoly. Have you ever said holy smoly? Well, then I didn't make it up, did I? I stand corrected. We're going to drink a tonic here. Get ourselves uh, ready. Because when the lights go out, when the sun goes down, that's when the crazies in Red Dead Online, like to go out and party, right? Oh, did you know this was a weapon? Doesn't make any sense, does it? That should not, is this considered, can I, can I do something with it? Hey, can I hit you with this? Square button does nothing. The R2 button does nothing. Holding the R2 and, I mean, sorry, holding the L1 and then hitting R2 does nothing. Oh, okay, I guess it's an intimidator. You're intimidated by my lantern, are you? Then they'll start shooting at you. She gotta run. You gotta be prepared. Good golly. Look at that. The whole the whole area of Thieves Landing is after me. Alright, so this is just from lantern intimidation. I didn't know it was gonna get this bad. They really don't like lanterns. Well, maybe because it was dark outside. Hey, maybe it hurt his eyes. Hey, I'm sorry I hurt your eyes, bro. 
It didn't have to be this way. Now they got their whole whole entire gang after me. Holy smokes. That's what's so fun about Thieves Landing. You never know what's going to happen. That was impressive. See what I'm saying? The, the NPCs here, I think, are a lot tougher. You're going to learn more about yourself. <laughs> Your PvP self, that is. That's what I meant to say. How well, how good are you, you think you are in PvP? In Red Dead Online. Are you um, relaxed when it happens? Does your heart start pumping? Do you get a fight or flight reflex? Do you want to just get the hell out of there? Or do you want to fight back? Especially when they um, get one on you. Do you want to get them back every time? Or, you know, just depending on how you feel that day. Well, they've most of them have calmed down now. That's cool. I was expecting them to keep coming. There must be some sort of rule, you know. They live by a different code here in Thieves Landing. By the way, for those that want to know, here's the map once again. That those that have just joined the video. There you are. South of Blackwater. And my camp just happens to be right there. Wow, what a awesome coincidence. Yes. So we're going to loot the bodies. You can get, you know, you can get your treasure maps. It's very rare, but you will get them once in a blue moon. There, I got some dynamite. Very awesome. Oh, and by the way, there's um, two daily challenges. Um, kill a... One, the first one is um, uh, five animals with a thrown weapon. You can use dynamite to do that. Because you're, you know, and then uh, drag a NPC enemy on horseback. So I missed that opportunity, but that's okay. We're in Thieves Landing. I'll probably get it again. We're going to visit the fence. That's where I got the X button. My um, waypoint. Hello there. you got to take your weapon out of your hand or he won't talk to you. By the way, there's, those are my ability cards. You may have to uh, pause your screen and screen and squint. There's a tip for you. That way you can enjoy your day at work and know that your daily challenges at least are done for that day, even if it's only one. See what else in Thieves Landing? Oh, let's just look around and chat with the locals. They don't like when you get up close on them. Whoa, we're gonna use a little bit of eagle eye here. It's a superpower I have. There is a lot of them. And plus, because of my ability cards that rely on stamina, for hit points, I'm gonna do that. Well, well, let's see here, let's do some emotes. First of all, I'm gonna check the time. Whoops. I messed that up. First of all, I'm going to check the time. I see. This is where you can practice with your lasso, too. I don't like to practice on real players. I just don't like it. It's, it's annoying because I hate it when they do it to me. Witness. Well, I think the only witness is you. You're at Thieves Landing. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh. Here we go. They want to play again. I think I should break out the really, really good stuff, though, this time. Special Vintage. Say cheese. All right. Say cheese, please. And another one down, and another one down. See, that's why moonshine is expensive. Pay attention, class. I use the six shotter. My favorite go-to. Although the Krampus is fun and it has a little bit better accuracy because it better accuracy. Yeah. So I still got it on my horse. Definitely. Sorry, bro. I was talking at the same time while recording a video. And he's like, "What does that mean?" Well, that's the fourth wall. That's what. That's what's called breaking the fourth wall. And we don't want to use too many of them moonshine packed shells, so we're gonna, just gonna go right back to revolvers. 
da 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 and here's my ability cards if you're wondering. Yeah, you're probably... How did he survive that? Well, let's look at him up close. And then we'll do some bodies. This is only rank one. These are the two as to why I had. Iron Lung and Fool Me Once. Just wait until that's rank three. I could have been... And, and in, even at rank one, I'm just like standing around like it's just mosquitoes, you know? Like it doesn't bother me. So we'll loot some bodies, get, maybe we'll get a treasure map, and then that'll be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. You can watch me loot the bodies once I find them. Wait a minute. wonder why I'm having an issue looking at them and finding them on my map. It's because the map, because Red Dead Online's map is just so big, you know? Del Lobo? Who's Del Lobo? Are you a wanted person? Maybe we should take this person to the sheriff. See what happens. Come here, horse. Who the heck is Del Lobo? Del Lobo is must be like the leader here. This has never happened before. This is cool. I am so excited right now. We're going to take you to Blackwater uh, Sheriff's Office to see if I get a bounty payment. That would be incredible. So, Because now the real law is after me. The real law is coming now. Not the Thieves Landing code. This is the real code. So I think I remember by heart how to get to Blackwater. I don't need to uh, make a waypoint. That's one thing about a game, is once you play it enough. Because uh, I said it was directly south earlier, so that means I need to go north. Trust in what I say. Follow the rail. How, how far, how close does the rail get to Blackwater? I don't think it passes through. See, I'm talking to myself. Don't mind me. We got a named NPC. I went the complete wrong direction. That's what they call get turning around. Turned around. I thought I was going north. I was going south. Well, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so the sheriff's office is, we'll just put it there right on the bounty board. That's close enough. And I will see you there. Nope, I'm not going to interact with the wolves when I've got a possible bounty here, because, you know... Here's the thing, is griefing has gone up tenfold. You may have seen my video, and that's a fact. So, I want to try to just get there as soon as possible. And I am shocked that I have not seen any real players yet. I might be in a single-player lobby by accident. I don't know. That happens once in a blue moon. I don't know how it happens, but it does. I don't know what I did to have make that happen because I just don't know how to do one. I know there's ways to do one if you want to, but I have no idea how to do it because I just don't care. I just go with the flow. My horse is still good on stamina, although she doesn't like it. There's some more wolves. Wolves, wolf attacks are on the rise. They got the smell of that real player avatar and they can't get enough of it. yeah now we're gonna we're gonna give my horse a stimulant just a regular one how's everybody doing you okay hope you're enjoying the video I really do I really sincerely hope you're enjoying this video and it's giving you entertainment We're gonna see if this bounty. I'm, I'm, we're gonna see it. Not. I'm not even sure if this is a bounty. I meant to say is. What I meant to say is. We are gonna see if the sheriff's office gives us a bounty. 
or did I pick up somebody's a real player's bounty? You know, I don't know. I'm, I don't bounty hunting much. I'm a level uh, 11 bounty hunter. That's it. Rank 11. That's all I is. Which happens in Red Dead Online, right? But I we're gonna test that out right now. See what happens. Cause I I do have my bounty hunter license, so even though I don't like to just do it all the time, it's just not my style. Wait, this isn't the police station. Like I say, I don't I don't do it very often, and it's dark. Well, let's just put him back on that horse so you can read the name. I did that a little bit too fast. Del Lobo. You are a random named NPC who just also might be a bounty that I can collect on. I Or maybe maybe the mission needed to be started by a real player. So if I look on my map, if I go here Put you in the corner. Try to find your name on that bounty board. I wonder if you're there, buddy. Let's go look. Nope. Nobody. He's still there. I thought he would have been disappeared, you know? Sometimes, sometimes NPCs will just go into the void when you look at the bounty board or if you just even if you just turn your back on them what you thought was um, a stagecoach or a wagon that you had taken from an NPC and you're using it for whatever reason and you turn your back on it or get on your horse and just go for just a little bit and you turn back and it's gone the void sucks it up anyway uh, here's the Blackwater uh, Police Department interior in case you're wondering I know where this guy goes. He he definitely belongs in here, so at least I'll drop him off. Do society a favor. May he rest in peace. Let the sheriff handle it. He'll recognize him. That's Del Lobo, the infamous outlaw in Thieves Landing. Discovered by, suffice to say, read that online. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. Pretty organized. Very organized place he's got there. He's got one item and lots of drawers, and a lot of them are empty. Very suspicious. What is that little creature there, huh? Hello. That is cool. Ring-necked pheasant. I'm just going by memory. I don't know if that's correct or not. Is that was the correct pronunciation and word for your species? I'm talking to a taxidermist's inanimate object. That's all right, man. Don't beat yourself up about stuff, right? You might be saying, who, who are you talking to? Well, I'm talking to my avatar. And my avatar hears my voice in his head.
because this is a real universe and we're just observers. And we get to control a character in Red Dead Online, all of us. Because this game is so amazing, it's a masterpiece, it's alive. Hey, I got an idea. Let's abandon it, yeah. In my opinion, this game is alive in a different universe. A parallel different universe with different, a little bit different physics, a little bit different, kind of slightly different, but you know, it is that, in my opinion.